We're ending tonight with a story that, ladies, gentlemen, you may wish to clench. We haven't had a good clencher in a while, but oh, we've got one tonight. A good old fashioned clencher. Yeehaw. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. Let's get started. Where's my intro? Here's my intro. Each week, Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff and brings it back here. A little segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And you know what? I think we find this one might go a long way toward answering that question at long last. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because it, it, yeah, this, this kind of sums it all up in a nice, awful way. All right. Come on. Why can't I type there? I want to type there. There we go. That's where I want to type. Okay. This, uh, yep, I, I think I think viewers of the show will probably be not all that surprised by this one. Quarter of Americans think sun revolves around Earth. Does the Earth go around the sun, or does the sun go around the Earth? If you answer the latter, you're among a quarter of Americans who also got it wrong. A survey of 2,200 people that was released Friday revealed some alarming truths about the state of science education across the country, with many failing to answer even the most basic astronomy and science questions. Only 39% correctly answered true when asked if the universe began with a huge explosion, while only 48% knew that human beings, as we know them today, evolved from earlier species of animal. Ask whether there should be more government funding for science. 30% said there should be. I think pretty much the, the whole fact that we, we can't get Copernicus right, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Wasn't that Galileo? Was Galileo? Didn't they, didn't they execute him for saying that? That the Earth went around the sun and was, not vice versa? I don't know if it was Galileo or Copernicus. Are we going to are we going to execute poor Bill Nye now? Is it I Galileo? Not. I swear it was Copernicus. I could be wrong. I don't know. But still, the very the fact is yeah, there'll be there'll be angry comments when you post the video to tell us how we're both stupid and actually with some guy we've never heard of. I got people saying Copernicus and people saying Galileo and people saying Figaro. So we have some queen fans at least. Um Copernicus theorized that Galileo proved it. Ah, there we go. It was both of them. Everybody wins. Except Galileo, who was executed for... Well, yeah. Which he... Downer. You know, that would be pissed off that, you know, I, he spent all... He literally gave his life in the, in, the, in the cause of science to say, hey, guys, this is how the fucking universe works. And thousands of years later. But it makes a lot. It suddenly our show makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? Yeah. Because people are just that. Tragically stupid. Sun does not go around the earth. It's the other way. (laughs) All of these people presumably went to school. Yes. And they teach you that in school. I distinctly remember being taught about, yes. you know, but the there's system. There's knowing a fact and then there's feeling it in your gut. It's the Colbert, you know, theorem of learning. If you can feel the sun in your gut, <laughs> you should probably get gone some premised. You know in your gut that the earth is the center of the universe. That's, that's, a, you know, you know that that's, that's how that. Works. Well, we've got one from South Carolina and I'm, I'm kind of set glad I'm leaving because this, this could be a lot of us, which is, is the sad thing. Did, did you ever used to rent shit from Blockbuster and Hollywood video and all that shit back in the day? And some people here are going, what's Blockbuster? 
I've never yeah, heard of that. Yeah, they're fetuses. Do you know, we had, Tiffany came on in my store last week. And I was like, oh, my God, it's Tiffany. And this very, very sweet, lovely girl who I work with who's 21 years old goes, who's Tiffany? Well, we're going to have to explain some terms from this story for you younger folks in this audience. Don't worry, we'll go very slowly. Deputies picking woman, Pickens woman charged nine years after failing to return J-Lo movie. It's from Pickens, South Carolina. A woman's been arrested and charged after deputies said she failed to return a Jennifer Lopez movie she rented in 2005. Taylor Michelle Finley, 27, has been charged with failure to return a rented video cassette. According to warrants, Finley rented Monster-in-Law from Dalton Video, which is no longer in business in 2005, and the tape was not returned in 72 hours. Okay, once upon a time, video wasn't a file. It wasn't on, it was on a tape. We called it a VHS. And you had to physically go to a place to borrow one. Mm -hmm. You couldn't just like hop on Netflix. No, nope. and no one would and deliver them to you either. No. Finley was sent letters to return the video several times, but never responded, according to the warrant. Also, also said a certified warrant was sent to the woman on September 12th, 2005. Finley denied ever getting those warnings, saying she would fight the charges. She was arrested Thursday after a record check showed the offense. How is this a crime? I know this is a civil matter. Like I can see them sending it to collections and making her pay for the tape. But how is this a crime? I know it. It. And it's at best. It's like low level petty theft. The store doesn't even exist. Who's pressing charges? Like a videotape or DVD is worth like 20 bucks, maybe. You don't get put in jail over 20 bucks. Like, that's a civil suit. You want to sue her for the tape and all the late charges? Fine. I, why, why are the police involved in this at all? And apparently, I mean, if the tape was not returned in 72 hours, man, renting videos was some strict shit back in the day. You better well, bring that back in three days. It. If you didn't rewind it, then it was a firing squad. They didn't fuck around with that shit. Real crimes get less time. That's for dams. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nine years? Is that what they're saying the sentence could be? No, it's since the video was rented. Oh. Yeah, that's in a trash heap somewhere. I assure you. Just to, to send someone to jail. To have police arrest your ass. That seems like a pretty serious waste of resources and over a Jeff a Jennifer Lopez film and not a very good one either no monster in law I barely remember that it was like she was marrying some guy and Jane Fonda was his mom and she was really mean or some I didn't see it but I can tell you from the commercials that it was probably pretty terrible I think you should probably be arrested for renting that in the first place it's the last J-Lo movie I saw. I think the last J-Lo movie I saw was Selena. They should they should pay you not to return that one, in fact. They should they should give you a reward. They should thank you. You should get a little card saying, thank you. Did you ever see a really terrible Mark Wahlberg movie called The Big Hit? Yes. It's absolute piece of crap. And there's like this running subplot through the whole movie about like the video store harassing him over late videotapes. Yes. And while he's running around murdering people and he's got it like a girl in his trunk that he kidnapped but he's really 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 worried about returning these videotapes and the final shootout like happened in the video store well now we know why yeah because you know around yeah they do not fuck around i mean kidnapping and murder but he didn't want that videotape thing going on his permanent record so there are times in the world when irony just is almost a sentient thing. I think there's a god of irony. There must be. You know, like we had gods of wine, we had gods of the sun and shit. Where is the gods of tits and wine? <laughs> you think the god of irony wears a fedora? In skinny jeans? <laughs> it has a mustache? 
There's, I don't, I can't. Atari t-shirt? I can't think of any better explanation for this. Fire truck catches fire. By you, George. Uh, Fire truck returning to station after call Tuesday caught fire. No one was injured, but the vehicle is probably ruined. It's not clear what started the fire. The state fire marshal's office will investigate the cause. Uh, But Mark Bowen, director of emergency services, speculated there was a mechanical problem with the truck. He said the only firefighter in the truck at the time pulled over after seeing smoke coming from the rear tire. This is the best line. The firefighter couldn't put it out. Because... It said about trying to salvage as much equipment for the truck. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of terrible. <laughs> I mean, thank God they were presumably uh, in gear. The firefighter could not put out the fire on his own truck. Well, because it does, is it a hose is it a pumper truck let me say yeah that's i think i can't tell from looking at it from the angle but it, if that's the truck with the hose what do you what are you putting it out with when the hose is on fire there's no other other alternate means of putting out fire you're a fireman well to put out fire you generally need water and a propulsion system therefore no you just need a little can with the Mm, don't they have- like a car fire could be electrical and then water is a terrible idea well they have a chemical one they have one that's that's for that they should why doesn't he right, have that was, uh, again if it was on that truck <laughs> well that seems like a bit like, of an unless oversight something's on fire you pretty much can't use its own resources oh uh, <laughs> stop drop and roll the truck oh nice nice i mean the part that sucks is that Obviously, the fire inhibited its ability to transform back into Optimus Prime, because then it could have stopped, dropped, and rolled. I know Optimus Prime's not a fire truck. Don't start spamming me. I don't care. You got that's got to be just one of those moments where you're like, that, that's God's way of telling you get a new job. Well, get a new fire truck at least. You shouldn't be doing this. This should not be what, yeah, this should not be what you're doing for a living. When the fire, the, just, yeah, no. Find something else. I just, how? How the hell? <laughs> Who do you call when the fire truck's on fire? Who do you, who, how do you place, I'd like to call someone. Oh my God. They're like, actually Optimus was a fire truck and it's all, I don't care. They think you care. It's adorable. I don't care. That's so funny. They think you give a shit. Aw. Bless her. (laughs) Yeah, it's like the channel. My fire truck's on fire. Okay, we'll send someone. I am the someone. (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> like because if that's their only that's their only hose truck what do you do because some fire departments are small enough that they only have one hose truck well now they have no hose truck now they have none what happens if there's another fire i guess they can borrow from another department or something they, maybe they could call that department to come put out the fires from now on <laughs> Like when the truck catches on fire. Uh, yeah, the guy, Arietta says, you know, they'll never live it down at the firehouse. That guy will never. No. Never. If, is, if they do like anything involving other fire departments, like I know in New York, they do all the fire departments have racing teams. I think I've talked about this before. And in the summer, they have tournaments. Yeah. So God forbid if they're on like a racing team or they have a softball team or anything. They're never here on the end of that. Ever. You, you remember how many of these stories we have that that we, we just got to go the balls on this guy. I think this kid or last week, the balls on this car. Well, this kid wins this. This kid forever and always wins 
because I, I hands down the balls on this kid. Holy shit. This is probably the best one ever. Ten year old steals parents car. Tries to convince cops he's a dwarf when caught. Before he wanted to visit his grandparents before he started on the nearly 40 mile trip sometime before 6 a.m. While his parents were sleeping, he strapped his 18 month old sister in the back seat. Made about six miles from his home for a very off the road, packed the snowpack road and ending up in a ditch. Oh, my God. That's where the snowplow driver saw the car and alerted the authorities. When cops in the town of Vest or Opland, Norway, arrived, seen the boy tried to claim he was a dwarf who had forgotten his license at home. Police quickly determined he was not. Yeah, it's not that hard to tell the difference between a child and a little person or dwarf. They drove the boy home and his sister home where his parents woke up to discover their kids and their car missing. Can you imagine? Holy shit. Like you want to talk about mortal terror? Oh my God. Like, thank God they're okay. I, I, okay. Okay. The channel engineer dude says, how hard is it to call a cab? I mean, kids get ideas in their heads and they think, whatever, I can do this. I'm a kid. I've seen my parents do it, but that's terrifying. <laughs> I just have to imagine the poor policeman who had to say, the guy kid goes, no, I'm a dwarf. What? Prove me wrong. And you take advantage, like, you know, all the time. My sister and my brother-in-law will say, Patrick, go grab Aunt Tara's keys. We got to move her car. So it's not like the keys are not accessible to him. If Patrick ever got it in his head that he wanted to take my car for a joyride. That kid is never seeing daylight again. No. His parents are grounding him until the next millennium because he's gonna live on a harness now yes jesus christ his prayers probably had a heart attack seriously can you imagine like you wake up and your children and your car are gone it would never occur to you that one took the other right. no that's not in the that's the last thing that would occur to you i think I just, the balls on this kid. This guy had some, this kid had got some depleted uranium balls. Because, you know, no, it's okay, officer, it's fine. I'm a little person. Oh, what, you got something I mean, against dwarves? I mean, that's a pretty smart lie to come up with on the fly like what, that. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you for discrimination. Like, as stories brought up on the fly go that's not bad okay annie t sorry sir i'm late to travel with my fellow dwarves and old guy in a hobbit <laughs> oh my god he's the he's the eighth dwarf ballsy yeah exactly nice nice yes so this is, again, one of those uh, our next story. It's one of those you're really not getting the concept here stories. It, we And this is not the first time this has happened, and God knows it won't be the last. <sighs> Woman seeking crack cocaine called. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is calls police after drug dealer sells her sugar instead. Suzanne Basham, 47, made the mistake yesterday morning when she dialed police in Springfield, Missouri, to report she had paid $40 for crack cocaine that turned out to be sugar. Basham, who was not seeking a sugar high, asked cops to arrest her dealer for theft and, of course, secure a refund for her. When patrolman went to the address where Basham said she purchased the crack, residents there denied selling dope and declined to let investigators into the home. Since cop discovered that Basham was in possession of a crack pipe, she was cited for possession of drug paraphernalia. She is pictured above the mugshot snapped on October 2010 following a collar for drug possession. You might notice that your drug dealer isn't registered with the Better Business Bureau. 
they're not in your local chamber of commerce because they're not running a legal business. It's people don't. Do you understand what the police do? It's not. They're not there to stop people being unfair. They're there to stop it's, crime. And even if they were. You don't go to them. No. With your illegal transaction. This is this. This is a crime. They are there to stop the crime. Not ste stealing from you was not the crime. You were just being an idiot. Yeah. I mean, the FDA doesn't regulate crack. Wait a minute. How do you mistake sugar for crack? How did I don't. I don't know enough about crack to answer that question. So I thought crack was rocks and sugar is sugar. Well, maybe it was like rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If they sold her rock candy, told her it was crack. And obviously she's been doing drugs for a while. Yeah. Didn't wouldn't she like test that shit before you left? Maybe. Well, no one ever did that on Breaking Bad except other dealers. I mean, if you can't trust your drug dealer, who can you trust? I can just imagine the cop probably had to go to the hospital after he fell off the desk laughing too hard. Can you imagine someone comes in to report that? You're just like, what? That's how you give a cop a concussion. You make him fall out of their chair laughing. Have a seat in this comfortable cell. I. How did she find out? Did she did she think she tried to smoke it? What do you think happens if you smoke sugar? <laughs> God, now I'm actually like, hmm, how do we find it's, out? I don't want to find out. The nose maggots thing was apparently a hoax. Eh, so I don't I don't want to find out. What happens if you smoke sugar? Probably it tastes like often. It tastes like awful. You, you don't want to do that. I don't. Probably tastes like the top of a creme brulee. Which does not taste like crack, I'm assuming. Unless no, it does, no. would explain why creme brulee sells so well. It's kind of like crack to me. And it does crackle. No, it's not. The, so it's I not can see where you'd make the mistake it's not it just i it they're not it's not like you're they so the cops are not your daddy he took my she told me crack no they're not gonna and make again, everything even right. if they were you're committing a crime she's been arrested before she had to know this was not something they'd be happy to you tell you don't go to the people charged with stopping crime to complain about your crime not going the way you hoped. Yeah, the police aren't there because life's unfair. That's not why well, that. <sighs> OK, the last story, everyone prepare to clench. I don't even understand this. This is just it. I, you know what? I don't even have to. I, I might. I don't even have a good segue for it. I'm just gonna let it rip. Oh god, that's probably a bad phrase for it. Oh dear. Oh, just gonna have to let this fucking happen. Old man narrowly escapes death from putting squash into anus. Oh. In a strange but true story, doctors in southern Kanto City have saved an 81-year-old man from death after he put a squash into his anus in an attempt to get rid of his constipation. How would that... Wouldn't that make it worse? Don't you think? After examination, the doctors discovered the man's intestine tract was stuck due to a squash. Eight centimeters wide, 20 centimeters. How, how wide is eight centimeters? 
too wide to put up your ass. Does anyone know? Someone please tell me how wide eight centimeters is. And 20 centimeters long. Is relative... 20 centimeters about half an inch, maybe? So that, that's four inches wide. That's about as wide as a Star Wars figure is tall. Too wide to put up your ass. And, 20... and why would that why would that help with your It's a cork! You're yeah. putting a cork you're putting a giant fucking cork in your ass. That's really counterintuitive. His relative said he was recently suffering constipation, and then each time he had the condition, he put a squash in his anus and then pulled it out as a way to facilitate defecation. How do you come up with that particular home remedy? I'm pretty sure this was not about constipation. Call me crazy. This was not about constipation. I'm just saying. I just don't understand if it is how you come up with that as a remedy. I'm going to fix my constipation by ramming something up my ass that'll block it. Apparently his idea was pop. Was like vacuum suction from I four inches wide. They don't that's that's way that's way past that that's way past butt plug size there. That's so not okay. No. If you can even get something four inches wide up your ass, how is it even possible for you to be constipated? I know! Like, who should just be falling out of you as you walk down the street? Your farts don't make noise anymore! I just, it, no, so this is like not. It be impossible. This was not. Who? This was not about constipation. This was an 81-year-old man having special alone time with a squash and then trying with to cover up. It's a wide squash. Well, if it has to be four inches wide, I think a squash is... No, no guy is going to be able to fall, fill those shoes, so to speak. No, probably not. Sorry, Cinderella, that slipper ain't going to be filled by any man. I'm mixing my metaphors a bit, I know. But still. Yeah, Prince Charming didn't wear yeah. the slipper. I just... Okay, I, just over three inches wide. Still, too big to put in your ass. 81, though. He's still awful frisky for 81. And flexible. And flex, yeah. Still, that's... That's... So, can we now retire the term butthurt? Obviously not. <laughs> I think, I well, I think after this, no one else qualifies. You don't watch enough porn. That's like a whole subgenre. I'm so glad we don't have the x-rays. Because that would just... Somebody will find them and tweet them to us, I'm confident. Someone's going to frame that shit. That's <laughs> going in like a Hall of Fame. Grandpa, can you tell us about the time you put the squash up your butt? Which time? Yeah, <laughs> which time? Uh, so, I, I guess we've learned, the first thing we've learned this week is that home remedies aren't always exactly a remedy. Like, vegetables are roughage, and they are supposed to help keep you regular, but you have to <laughs> put them in the other way. <laughs> they have to go in the other way. It's not, vegetables are not suppositories. No. Oh, my, I just, it, it, where's my ruler? I'm trying, I want to show people what four inches is. 
is is th- I think I think this is about this is about no, it's about three inches there. That's still this is three inches or thereabouts. Imagine this is three inches, guys. That that would not that. Yeah, rough. That's not how you do rough. Um, we've learned this week that police are not your daddy. They, no, they have no interest in being fair. They have just they, the only thing they're interested in is if you're breaking the law. And there is no law against getting swindled for illegal drugs. I mean, technically, I really I suppose I, she didn't break the law since she only bought sugar. No, but she called attention to them, and they had a she had a crack bite. So, yeah, don't involve the cops in your illegal activities. They're not going to help you. It's not going to come out the work out the way you'd, you think. You'd like to think that would go without saying. Don't yeah. involve the cops in your <laughs> illegal activities. You'd like to. You'd like to believe you wouldn't have to tell people that, but. We learned this week here. We learned this week there is one 10 year old in Norway who's going to become the greatest lawyer in the world. He by the time he's done, he will have you believing up is down, black is white and promptly get killed at the next zebra crossing. He's the next Johnny Cochran. I seriously. That's a tall ten-year-old to even be able to reach the pedals. So even, even then, he had he had the balls to try to claim dwarf because he had to be tall enough to drive the fucking car. Yeah. Um, we've learned that irony hates fire trucks. Is that really irony? Is it ironic the fire truck caught fire? I don't but, know that that's ironic. Is that ironic or unfortunate? Fuck you, Alanis. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely unfortunate, but I don't know if it counts as ironic. Alanis, damn you! I know, she kind of ruined irony for everybody. I don't know what the word means anymore! Um, we've learned that the MPAA takes that shit serious. Yeah, return those videotapes, people. Or they'll arrest your... I, I just I, can you imagine you're in jail. What are you in jail for? Stealing? What are you in jail for? Assault? What are you in jail for? J-Lo. J-Lo. <laughs> oh, did you stalk her? No. no. They have dumb drug addicts to catch. They don't have time for this shit. Seriously. <laughs> just file a small claim suit. God. Uh. Or let it go. You've already gone out of business. And finally, this week, we've learned one in four of your fellow humans in America is an idiot. Is an absolute drooling moron. And if you can't figure out which one, it's you. And the thing is, they still get to vote. You know, I I understand we have a whole history of that whole poll test sort of thing, that qualification to vote. Yeah. No entrance exam to vote. But God, there needs to be. Just if you don't have a basic grasp on facts, you're not helping the democratic process. But I mean, God, it doesn't even have to be that difficult. Does the earth revolve around the sun? No, you can't vote. No. What color is the sky? That's a tough one because, you know, different times of day. There's a really fabulous sunset. You don't want any subjectivity in there. <sighs> just, I just, they get to vote. Suddenly, Congress makes so much more sense. Yeah. I mean, how do you think John Boehner even looks like that, people? Well, that has nothing to do with the no, real sun. It does, doesn't. He's, he's, he's orange. He's, yeah. I, I, do you, has it, has anyone ever told him, do you think that he's, or, does he know? 
Because you can't, you gotta understand, you gotta think he he doesn't know if he's going I mean, on he's public. See looking. himself, he's on TV all the time. Do you think maybe he's colorblind or something? As I mean, he's on TV all the time. Presumably, he sees himself. Maybe, but yes, it's it's one in four Americans don't know the sun does not go around the Earth. It's the other way around. I, the educational system is failing us. What it didn't add was that one in ten think that sun is a big flat is a big light bulb, and that you know, Jesus rode a dinosaur. I tell you what, if Jesus if Jesus went through that fucking market with the money changers on a velociraptor, I would have spent a whole lot more time in Sunday school. <laughs> 